So the Arab and B led faction and the issue between Abure or the OB Abure led faction, a Papa led faction that is, seem not to have, we seem not to have seen the end. But what is curious for us right now is being the, in the party, antagonizing the party. We have seen this play out within the PDP with the G5 and the PDP articles uh, and the IUS faction. This is playing out after the election. That of the PDP, a week and the G5 is understandable. There was something they were contesting for. But what we, ha we as Nigerians, that is what we don't understand with the Apapa led faction and uh, with his Arab and B and co. What the crisis they seem to be creating in a party that Nigerians took their time to push to limelight, to become the third force. As, we, as much as we don't understand that, we're also trying to figure out why is it difficult for them to understand that political party is not just about those who are the party members, but the role that the political party play in the nation when it comes to staying as an opposition. As, that is assuming that the Supreme Court doesn't go their way. Why is, does it seem that all of these seem to have alluded Lamidia Papa and his team? So they are fighting dirty to the point where they are not making it the loss of OBs because Igbos were used, quote and unquote, in the north, dividing us the more. What, 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 what is the need with, for us with, with all of this, if you may? First and foremost, is that the Nigerian ruling class doesn't have the capacity to learn, they have lost sense of history. And incipient in them is a mindset that is reinvigorated to act according to the law and to do evil. It is a, 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 it is a, a ruling class that has primitive tendencies, primitive dispositions that make only pretense to modernity, but it's lost in ancient history. Now, It is, is it not surprising that immediately after the election and Obi went to the tribunal, the crisis between Aburu and Lamida Papa seemed to reinforce, yeah. seemed to be amalgamated. Mm. From the beginning, Papa seemed to be quite un, 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 unpopular within the progressive minds or the popular fronts of the party. Mm. And they accused him from the beginning that he was working for the ruling party or he's under the payroll of the ruling party yeah. or he's trying to create crisis in their, uh, their party to give advantage to the ruling party. They even accused him at a point that he wants to, re to withdraw the petition of the Labour Party from the tribunal. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, they removed their, his cap at the, at the presidential cap court. So what he's saying now, which could be taken and which is anti-party activity, is the exact reason, is that attitude that they wanted to prevent that is why he's unpopular within the party. That is why that his cap was removed, that he was questioning who removed his cap. It is this thing he did now that caused him his cap to be removed, and it has not been restored. Do you so, you see a situation whereby the Nigerian ruling class see politics, and politics is a means of production in Nigeria. In fact, it's the biggest, it's the single biggest business in Nigeria. After the politics in Nigeria, the next business is the church business mm. in, at all fronts. And it is the most lucrative business. These two businesses are unproductive. They don't produce nothing. Yet, they, 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 are, they, they are the most lucrative and they produce the highest amount of Nigerian Naira. So what happens is that intra-party activities, intra-party crisis or politics is not new in Nigeria. Neither mm -hmm. is, so that of the Labour Party is no exception. So a faction of the Labour Party is convinced that the Labour Party should drop their ambition and aspirations and possibly coalesce into APC or get paid off by APC and then have their life better. So some of them, in fact, some governors who won election on that one platform have said that, look, that a lot of things are happening in the center. So let us go leave our party and go to the government at the center. Join the government at the center so that we can get the chop chop coming from the center. Mm -hmm. So that we can, and we can see that some of them who did it and did it timely, reap the benefit of it. Today, they have been able to produce governor, their successor. They were able to get ministerial positions and a lot of other benefits, unlike their colleagues or friends who didn't uh, do that line and that move they, they, they made that time. So the media papa group, for me, is, is just trying to, to validate and to, to, because there is a struggle to justify the presidential uh, the election, the 
the judgment of the presidential tribunal. Yeah. It, they seem to be a, a struggle for now, the to justify it. No, no. to me is unnecessary. Now, taking it from this, you could call it conspiracy theory, but now that we have seen key players, like Wale Shoyinka statement in South Africa, that the hero being knew he lost the election, like Lamidia Papa right now within the Labour Party, quote and unquote, and Tori are supporting a Wale Shoyinka statement who is not a member of the Labour Party, but who is clearly a friend of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and have never and you know, hidden that from anyone. If you look at these two statements, and this is all pointing to one aspect uh, right now, Using Igbos as a reason why the Labour Party supposedly failed election and seeing the pro that they are playing right now, if all of this plays out and uh, we go through 2023, the Supreme Court judgment and the status quo is maintained, give us a paint metal picture for us what will become of the Labour Party. Secondly, paint, help us paint a better picture what becomes of our electoral system. The only party that will stand from today is the only party that has the that will stand as at today after all these things mm. going to spring court is the APC mm. because the APC is in power and has the capacity to do out patronage and gratification to not just members but to other Nigerians. The the quest and the desire of the OPC to involve as many Nigerians as possible to lobby as many Nigerians as possible from different areas of life and coerce them, uh, coerce, intimidate, harass, lobby them. To, to come into the party or to support the party or to remain aloof or indifferent to the happenings in the administration. It's a continuous process. It's a, it's a project within the party. PDP in their days, it was, it was one of their strategies. So what will happen that after now other parties will scatter because everybody will go to look for what to eat, what is most primary for Nigerian politicians. Already people who are not members of the APC are already lobbying for political positions and appointments at different levels and strata mm -hmm. of government. So after now, the Labour Party will definitely go into... It will go, go, go into crisis or into so call it into extinction. PDP is already on the on the on the part of decay. Mm. APC will be stronger and stronger until the day that name APC or that that three alphabets are defeated. Then the Nigerian ruling class will cons reconstitute themselves under that, that platform, and the platform in power begins to wear the powers. It is still the same Nigerian, the same Nigerian ruling elite begin to wear the power of the other alphabets.